Many things do I see as I gaze here from the heart of Malachor. This place channels such energies. If it matters to you at this last moment, I shall look into the future and tell you of what I see. It is my last gift to you, from one exile to another. The Republic will fall as it always has, a fall that will take millennia under the care of the herds of Ithor. The surface of Telos will bloom again, and its golden fields shall again harbor scientists and thinkers. And complacent and peaceful, it shall forget the time that Saul Karath orbited it and brought fire to its skies. But it shall be a home world again to others who will stretch out across the galaxy and bring life. Dantuin shall survive. The community you saved shall be the foundation upon which Dantooine shall be habitable again. They shall drive back the raiders, the Mandalorians, and all that strike at the outer rim. The Republic shall again establish their presence there and shield it with its forces. And Dantooine shall heal, be safe, and its skies free. The ruins of the Academy shall remain. Nashada shall persist as it always has, but there will be a heart to the world where there was nothing before, where once the lost and disposed were trapped there. Now they will struggle and grow. From despair shall come hope. Queen Talia shall have a long reign. Much good will come of it. She will, as she has, rule wisely and well. Onderon shall remain in the Republic, and the world shall prosper though its people shall, over time, lose their customs in the ocean of the Republic and become the people of Onderon no longer. Korriban shall be as it always was, a graveyard for the darkest of the Sith Lords, still whispering within their tombs. It shall always be a source of evil, spawning threats throughout the millennia. It, like Malachor, brushes the edges of the Empire that waits in the dark, and like Malachor, the Sith have forgotten it for a time. They will remember. Revan knew this. You travel with them for so long, yet you do not know them still. Feel them through the Force, feel what they feel, hear their thoughts and know them as I fought to know you. They were the lost Jedi, you know, the true Jedi upon which the future will be built. They simply needed a leader and a teacher. She will stop hunting life and instead live it. She was not born to be a predator, despite her true father and the life she led within the shadow of Narshadar. She will miss you and think of you often, you who awakened her to what life is. She will live, but only for a time. Her death will occur in many years' time on a forgotten planet, saving the lives of others. But it will be her choice, and she will have no regrets. Many battles does that one have left in him, as Revan intended. A general needs an army as he needs those he trusts. And Candorus is a loyal beast, no matter how much he is broken upon Revan's will. They will die a death that will last millennia, until all that remains is their code, their history. And in the end, the shell of their armor upon the shell of a man, too easily slain by Jedi. The blinded one shall return to her home world, and she shall look upon the surface of that world, and perhaps at last see what she was meant to see. Her life has been changed by your meeting in ways that may not be felt for decades to come. He cannot help but love you in his way. It is a pure, ideal love he holds, yet somehow it never dulls in your presence or through your actions. If he leaves this place, he will leave the galaxy behind him. He will sit upon the new council, reluctantly, as all good men do. And he will not forget the Jedi who had lost the Force, yet showed him the way to reclaim it. After that, I do not know. I do know that you must leave him behind, the same choice that Revan made. Where you are destined, you must not take anyone you love. Aten is, as always, the fool. And the Force watches out for one such as him, I feel, as it does for the old such as I. He is a fool, and that should answer all your questions. He has nothing to offer one such as you, 
and even a fool such as Atten is not so ignorant of that fact. I would have killed the galaxy to preserve you. I would have let the galaxy die. You are more rare than you know, and what you have taught yourself must not be allowed to die. You are not a Jedi, not truly, and it is for that that I love you. Their paths are unknown to me. Even the small one who waits for you outside this place? I sense it has one last journey for you. You must go where Revan did, into the unknown regions, where the Sith, the true Sith, wait in the dark for the great war that comes. It is because he remembered what lay buried here, this place, its teachings. It paved the way to Korriban, you know, the remnants here. And because Malachor, like Korriban, is on the fringes of the ancient Sith Empire, where the Sith wait for us in the dark. You thought that the corrupted remnants of the Republic, the machine spawned by technology that Revan led into battle, were the Sith? You are wrong. The Sith is a belief, and its empire, the true Sith Empire, rules elsewhere. And Revan knew that the true war is not against the Republic. It waits for us beyond the Outer Rim, and he has gone to fight it in his own way. And he left the Ebon Hawk and all its machines behind, for he knew he would not need them. And like you, he knew he must leave all loves behind as well, no matter how deeply one cares for them. Because such attachments are not the way of the Jedi, and they would only bring doom to them both in the dark places where he now walks. It would have helped had he made her understand, but she was always strong-willed, that one, and did not understand war as Revan did. If he had asked, would I have gone? I do not know. But he will need warriors, Sith and Jedi, any who can be sent after him into the depths of space, for any who know the way. Perhaps you shall go there with him and do battle at the end of all things. Instead, I remained here and now show others the way.